Morning guys, welcome back to another video. We're like half an hour after <laughs> the food video. Um, Stuffed, I'm very happy. Very happy, been to the gym. We're heading back to Station X to make the most of that good Wi-Fi. like that the vlog is posted <laughs> absolutely love station x so quick isn't it so quick in there yeah and it's such a cool place to chill out find a little place in the sun but now we've got to try and find a tricycle so we're going to head down to puka shell beach We got him for a good price though, yeah. about 150, Not which bad. is the reason we got told that's the most to pay. So our tuk-tuk driver was just telling us that the roads between Station 1 and City Mall, and then from City Mall to Cooker Beach, are very broken. And they're trying to get it fixed up within the next year, so that's flat and easier for them to drive along. About 20 minutes later on the tricycle, and we are at Puka Beach. It's a lot less touristy here. You Definitely. can see it already, like you're walking down the street and there's hardly any tourists, whereas if you walk down Borokai, there's just flops Yeah, it's loads. You've got a few like stalls and that next to the beach. We're walking up to it now, and we're very impressed with the lack of tourists. <laughs> boats as well moored up along the beach and um, obviously because they can't go to the outer islands they now do boat tours around Boracay and um, this is one of their stops so that's probably another reason as to why it is so busy. Now you can really appreciate the beauty of this place after all the boats stop here and they stop probably for about an hour maybe half hour hour at max um, then they go off and you've got this whole beach to yourself and you can just oh it's incredible, seriously. It's like your own deserted island. There's like nobody here at this end of it. Like we said, there's a few vendors and that at the front, but if you walk down towards the caves and that, wow, just wow. Honestly, it's not another person behind us. About half an hour ago, there was like six boats, loads of tour groups, loads of people, and it just didn't look as picturesque, but now it just looks stunning. love this spot that we found if you come to the end of the beach up near the caves if the tide's out you can come in go in between the caves how we don't get stuck here if the tide comes out yeah we got quick. you got you got to be really quick but you can walk around in there's small private beaches but i don't think we've really got the time to be doing that today just a quick insta shot and then run back molly's just chilling there in the sea all to herself <laughs> loving life <laughs> Well, I think we're going to walk up to the entrance now and hopefully get a drink. So we've heard they do like this zero degrees beer or something, or frozen beer, so we're going to see how that's like. So we've walked back up to the main up top of the beach um, and we found that you can actually drink. Yeah, there's lots of places along the beach, or at top and bottom, where they're selling alcohol. Such a surprise. We really didn't think you would be able to here, but obviously the, the rules don't apply at this beach. Seriously, what a spot to have a beer. It's um, not as quiet as we thought it'd be, but if you head down to the end, 
it's a lot more quiet and it's a more, lot more picturesque, I would say, if you just walk past all the boats, because obviously the boats stop here for the boat tours now. Um, but we're going to finish these off and we're going to check another beach that we've been recommended so we can wait and see what that is. What are the dogs' names? Do they have a name? Are they yours, Brownie. huh? Brownie. 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 Oh. So we found some little puppies. I'm now going to give them some water. Yeah, we're not so sure if they look a little bit cold and dehydrated. I got them some water. Somebody's brought some water over. I got them some water. Because I feel like they need some water. Oh, them little puppies were so cute. They didn't want my water though. Yeah, I think they just we felt like we had look. to do something because they look really cold. Um, I wish we could take a moment and look after them. Me too. But we said to the kids and the kids that they were taking care of them. And just like that, we are at Iligi, Iligan Beach. It's just around the corner from Pukashel and it's completely different. It's so quiet. It's yeah. even quieter than Pukashel. Pukashel is quiet. This is even quieter. So we're like the only two tourists on the beach. All locals here and it is probably just as picturesque. Yeah. Maybe even more so of the two islands out there. Just look at that. We are the only people on this end of the beach. We've got a few just down there. Molly's setting up the spot, but look at that. And I think you can swim out to these islands. Do you fancy it? This end is literally so untouched, I think. I'm not certain, I have a little thing when we get back to the hotel, but I think this could actually be topping Pukashel. This could be like the new Pukashel beach, because it is literally, as you can see, apart from a few people down there, it's just me and Molly, and it is just as beautiful. shower just getting ready to go out tonight quick pointer if you do go to Ilig Iligan Beach I hope my pronunciation is right make sure you have transport to get back um, we didn't and there were no tricycles around so luckily a guy did come and help us on his motorbike it was fine thank god for him um, but yeah we just wanted to say that we are so grateful that we are nearly at 10,000 we never thought that we'd have this many subscribers and we're really 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 grateful um, but if you haven't already we do have a 10k giveaway um, so we are going to be giving away our Aitman camera um, so all you need to do if you check out that video is you drop us a comment of the city that you live in and if we have to be in that city we'll pick a winner um, and you will win this typical i'm ready and he's not so yesterday he was moaning at me what oh, about you oh, well, what about you huh? it is every single day guys it's the first time that molly's ready before me lies what's back on all the other vlogs oh matt's here waiting all ready for about Shut an up. hour tonight molly's ready don't get too chuffed and stop showing off in front of the camera <laughs> Just stopped off in Max's Borokai for a quick beer and then I think we're gonna walk along a little bit further back towards Station X. I know we are obsessed with the place. Um, and try out the burger restaurant there. It's been recommended to us so, and we are craving burgers so we're gonna give that a go. Everyone else's food, so I'm that hungry right now. I haven't eaten since we keep missing lunch. Like we need to eat our lunches, we just have breakfast, get all excited in the day, and then just skip straight to dinner. So I'm so so hungry. Oh, I'm 
Thank you so much. So the burgers have come, they look amazing, um, but we're starving and knackered. So we're gonna eat these, we're gonna get back to the hotel. Um, so if you're new to the channel, drop us a like, remember to subscribe, and also keep on dabbing.